On behalf of Brigadier General Lori Cleland, the Adjutant General, I'd like to thank you for joining us and welcoming you for the unveiling of our Remembrance Display. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Lisa Perry and I will be the Master of Ceremony. Today marks 21 years since the 9-11 attacks occurred that led us into the global war on terror. We are honored to have the family members of Chief Carter, Sergeant Nevin, and Sergeant Stiles with us this morning to dedicate a remembrance display that will serve as a lasting tribute to the courage of our fallen service members. Their ultimate sacrifice directly contributed to the nation's fight in keeping terrorism from reaching our shores and threatening the safety of our nation. General Cullen, will you please come forward and provide your reward? Well, welcome everyone. Um, today, as Chief said, we come together to pay tribute to the service and the ultimate sacrifice of our fallen Colorado National Guard warriors and their Gold Star family members. Some who've been able to join us, thank you so much for being with us today. 21 years ago, our nation was attacked. I want to talk a little bit about each of our Colorado National Guard members who we're going to remember today. Sergeant First Class Dan Romero from Lafayette became the first soldier that we and the National Guard lost during the Global War on Terrorism, April 15th, 2002. Sergeant First Class Dan Romero joined the Guard in 1991. Dan died from his injuries sustained during an ordnance disposal operations near Kandahar, Afghanistan. The explosion killed three other U.S. soldiers and it wounded another. Major Tony Schock deployed with Dan as part of Bravo Company, 5th Battalion, 19th Special Forces Group Airborne. He said this about Dan. When I first learned of Dan's death, I immediately knew that he was in harm's way due to his teamwork and his care for others. And as I understand things, he was helping explosive ordnance disposal way beyond his support role would require. He could have been relaxing in some makeshift shade, but not Dan. Dan had high character with strong love for his wife and his family. We studied, trained, and had many laughs together. And I'm lucky and grateful to have known Dan. The next soldier that we lost was Sergeant Luis Reyes from Aurora. He joined the Colorado Army Guard in 1997. Luis was serving as an engineer team leader for the 947th Engineer Company when he was killed when a bus bound for Kuwait rolled over on November 18, 2005. The accident also injured nine other members of the 947th. Sergeant First Class Charles White said this about Luis. He was the epitome of a servant leader. He was always willing to take the lead on things and always available to show soldiers the way we conduct business. He was a devoted family man, physically fit, a mentally and emotionally tough leader. He is missed by many. Sergeant John Stiles of Highlands Ranch was killed in Jalalabad, Afghanistan, when an improvised explosive device detonated near his vehicle November 13, 2008. A Marine, John, joined the Guard in 2007. He was serving with Bravo Battery, 3rd Battalion, 157 Field Artillery. Only a month before he died, he helped rescue three injured soldiers from a burning vehicle. He suffered injuries to his vocal cords and his lungs during that rescue. He had returned to duty earlier than was expected when he was killed. Sergeant Major John Martinez wrote this about John. John was a great friend, spouse, and soldier. He exhibited a strong leadership style, quickly earning the respect of the battery leadership. He was always willing to support the unit whenever it was needed. His sense of duty radiated in his face. I will always miss him. Chief War Officer Dave Carter was from Aurora. He joined the Guard in 1988. Dave was co-piloting a CH-47 Chinook helicopter when it was shot down in Mordak province, Afghanistan, August 6, 2011, killing everybody on board. 
I know I was a passenger in many of Dave's flights as a young officer. He was a well-known and very credible, experienced pilot. Chief War Officer for Andrew Maloney said this about Dave. Dave embodied the values, the Army values. He was known for his integrity, and he displayed exceptional character in every part of his life. His presence is missed. His impact on Bravo Company was profound. And for those of us who serve with them, we will always see his impact in our lives. Sergeant First Class Liam Nevins joined the Guard in 2009. He and two other soldiers died when enemy forces attacked their unit with small arms fire while they were conducting range training in Gardez, Paktia province, Afghanistan, to September 21st, 2013. Master Sergeant Cody Armstrong remembers this about Liam. Liam never failed to leave an impression. His energy, his creativity, his tactical expertise left an everlasting imprint on all of those who served with him. After being wounded in action, Liam followed his passion, his calling, and immediately returned to a Special Forces team to be with his brothers when he was killed in action. Our National Guard family will continue to miss these brave soldiers because of who they were and what they gave. And we're so grateful for our Gold Star families, as our soldiers could not have served without your support. We will never forget your sacrifice, and that's what this display today is all about. Thank you for joining us, truly. I also want to thank the team responsible for the vision, the planning, and the work that's been poured into this meaningful display in a pretty short amount of time, actually. Dave Schmidt, Command Sergeant Major Yushuk, Janelle Darnell, Lieutenant Lee, Lisa Cooley, and Chief Perry. Thank you for your continued efforts in honoring the legacy of these soldiers and the Colorado National Guard. We will never forget. Thank you, General McClellan. Now I would like to invite up, please, a Brigadier General Rogers and Command Sergeant Major Assad to unveil our display. You know, 
is go watch the news and you'll find out what's going on. <laughs> and I hung up and I was just like, who quickly turned on the news. But um, yeah, he was he was 82nd Airborne and then he was in a long, long range surveillance team leader, uh, sniper. Um, and he, when he got out, I was kind of like, and he was living in Colorado. And he called me and he said, well, I, uh, I'm joining the 519th and I'm going to a <laughs> um, serious school um, and uh, I'm going to be a Green Beret and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> so that's kind of what it's like to be a mom of a, of a soldier. And today I didn't, I, I was just told to bring a memento. So one of my favorites of his is his, his vest and Actually, I was didn't realize it was supposed to be on display. For, so I'm keeping that, but you, you guys can have this hat. <laughs> I do bring it out. I, I'm part of a VFW fold. Uh, we demonstrate the, the, the folding of the flags. And if we go to schools and I have somebody who can carry it for me, I, I'll bring it with them so the kids can see it. And I ask them to lift it. And I said, that's, that's what you, they wear. And, that's just the start of it, and that is always very impressive. So thank you for everyone who served, and, and for my family and the 519, because you're incredible. <laughs> so, thank you.
he used to teach up at HATS, the High Altitude Aviation Training Site, and that really was his passion. So today I decided to bring one of his hats from now. Thank you. Thank you, General Rogers and Command Sergeant Major Rosada, and thank you to the families for sharing your story. It's incredibly generous of you, and it is very meaningful for us to hear the stories. At this time, I would like to invite Chaplain St. Ange, please, to come forward and give us a benediction. So I'm, I'll close with an Irish blessing, but my prayer will be more of a little reflection. Um, we live in a mysterious world and a universe full of mysteries. Um, one of my favorite singers has a line that says, the more I learn, the less I understand. And at this point in my life, that's where I'm at. The more I learn, the less I understand. So in those times, we have to go back to the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter is that each of us was created by God who loves us, we have value, and even when we're gone, we still have value. We still we existed, we exist. The mysteries are still out there, but that's what I go back to when I don't understand that people matter, your loved ones matter, and you keep them alive. We will keep them alive by remembering them. So those are my thoughts today, and then I'll close with an Irish blessing. May, they, may there always be work for your hands to do. May your purse always hold a coin or two. May the sun always shine upon your window pane. May a rainbow be certain to follow each rain. May the hand of a friend always be near. And may God fill your heart with gladness and free you from fear. From this day on, as new members attend their first year weekend, they will see the names and the faces of those who gave their life for our freedom. For those of us who spend the majority of our time here in this building, the Joint Force Headquarters, this display will help us carry their legacy forward in all that we do. We hope that you will continue to feel welcomed in our Colorado National Guard family and know that we are always here to continue to support you in any way we can. This concludes the formal portion of our ceremony, and we are honored that you joined us today and ask that you please stay and enjoy the refreshments and continued conversation. Thank you very much. <laughs>